This video is brought to you guys by Uento. Uento is the best way to get rewarded by collecting Android apps and playing games. Get up to $1,000 in daily prizes by playing the Moneymaker game. For more information, check the link in the description down below. Thank you. What's up everybody, it's Daniel from HowToMan here and today we are going to be kicking off a new series called Customize Your Android and this is going to be episode 1. So a little bit about this new series, it's going to be a set of videos where Facundo and I show you guys how to customize your Android by either showing you guys a cool home screen setup, doing something such as a clock widget review, maybe show you guys a couple cool wallpapers, icon packs, or just apps that make your Android experience a bit more unique and so that you can start over time making your phone feel more like your own. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a minimalistic red look that you can set up on your home screen. So this is the home screen setup and it's a pretty simple setup to do. So it's not too advanced, it doesn't require too many things. It'll be easy for you guys to follow along with and set up. So let's get started. First I'm going to be telling you guys what apps you need to make this home screen setup possible. So the apps I'm using are Plast Texo for the wallpaper and for the clock widget. And for my launcher I am using Nova Launcher. For the icon packs I have coffee icons. And obviously you're going to need Zuper widget because the only way the Plast Texo widgets work is if you have Zuper widget installed. So let's get right into it. First let's set up the home screen. All you need is the wallpaper. If you go into the Plast Texo app you can look around and you open up the tab that says wallpapers and there's a bunch of wallpapers. Unfortunately they are not individually named so I can't give you guys the exact name of this wallpaper but if you scroll somewhere towards the first quarter or so of the wallpapers you'll find this wallpaper is just a gray on gray. It's a simple background that I like because it draws no attention from your other elements in the home screen. Anyways, let's move onward to the clock widget. To set up this clock widget, all you have to do is set up a new Zuper widget. And once you do that, you tap on it and then you select Class Texo and then you select the third widget in the list. A little about this widget, it's clean, it's nice, it's minimalistic. And unfortunately, I've not been able to find the font that the person who made it uses in the preview. So as you can see, when I'm selected in Plast Texo, it has a completely different font than the one that I actually have on my home screen. And I haven't been able to figure this out, unfortunately. It doesn't come with the app, but for now, I think it still looks pretty clean with the setup I have. And obviously, if you want to go in and change things, you just tap on the widget and you click layout and you have all the elements and you can customize them however you like. Anyways, let's move on to the icon pack. As you can see on my home screen there's a bunch of red icons. I have it set that way so that this gives you a minimalistic red look. But if I go into my app drawer you can see that a lot of the icons are themed and they're not specifically red. They're just themed nicely overall. So the way I have this set up is I use coffee icons but I long press every single app on my home screen and then I click edit and hit the little icon and then I select coffee icon pack and I go through because the developer of this icon pack has decided to allow for different color options on multiple apps. And I go through and find the apps that are on my home screen and then I select the red version of the icon. I did this for every single app on my home screen and I also did it for the app drawer shortcut. As you can see it looks like a fingerprint. I think it looks really clean and that's something that I really enjoy. Other than that this home screen setup is pretty simple and to go along with it I have a nice orange background to my lock screen. If you guys are interested in that background or background similar to it, you can check them out. They're in an app called Backdrops that we have reviewed before many times. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this series, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Also, you can comment on what you'd like to see next in these videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Until the next time guys, stay fresh.